numbers don't lie. And while today's reveal of new HIV AIDS cases are sure to raise both eyebrows and conversation, officials are hoping these stats also raise the public's focus and commitment to zero new cases. Corval Pyfram takes it from here. These are the latest figures from the Bahamas that will be included in an upcoming UN global report on incidents of HIV and AIDS. In the year 2024, we had 156 newly reported HIV infections. Head of the Ministry of Health's National HIV, AIDS and Infectious Diseases Program, Dr. Nikia Forbes, revealing Thursday that at the end of last year, an estimated 3,988 persons were living with HIV, accounting for 1.1% of the population. Age group 30 to 39 years of age accounted for 36% of the infections. And this was followed by the age group 40 to 49 years of age at 19%. And then those over 50 were the third highest age group affected at 17%. No longer feared as the painful, shameful death sentence it once was, HIV care has advanced tremendously from diagnosis to treatment to quality of life. But even with all the strides and gains, health officials caution now's not the time to lose focus. In the age group 15 to 24 years of age, there were 22 persons reported to be newly diagnosed with HIV in the year 2024, and that accounted for 14% of new HIV infections in that year. When we consider, okay, in the last year or two, we've started to see a steady increase in some infections, all right, so from 122 cases in 2021, in the COVID years to 156. Well, that, that is an increase, isn't it? Going forward, officials say more emphasis is needed on education, getting the message into schools for safer sexual and behavioral practices. Health Minister Dr. Michael Darvel acknowledges shortcomings, but says his administration is committed. With funding from the government, the Bahamas is noticing a decrease in the incidence of HIV cases from 2010 to 2024. And officials are at least hopeful that the country appears to be headed in the right direction. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corval Pyfram. Well, thanks, Corval. Now, during this afternoon's OPM press briefing, Dr. Forbes also provided an update on chlamydia and gonorrhea cases in the country. So, so far, in in 2025, 131 cases of chlamydia were reported in February. And after a temporary decline, 151 cases were reported in May, followed by a decrease to 111 cases in June. Gonorrhea cases were 34 in February, 42 in May, and then decreased to 33 in June. And persons 15 to 24 years of age accounted for 51% of the chlamydia cases and 60% of the gonorrhea cases. And while New Providence and Grand Bahama account for the lion's share of new and existing cases, Health Minister Dr. Michael Darvold says addressing these health issues is a national effort. The Bahamas realize the importance of addressing the incidence of infectious diseases in the country. And the policies at the Ministry of Health and Wellness reflect the government uh, agenda, which is to provide resources to assist Bahamians throughout the archipelago to access testing, diagnosis, and treatment. And we are committed in doing that, and by that policy, we are reaping the, re the fruits where we're seeing the decreased incidence of cases.